Like other forms of radiation, proton therapy uses a beam of high energy directed at a tumor to kill its cells. But proton therapy offers some unique benefits. When treating cancer in children, it's especially important to leave more of the body untouched by radiation. The high precision of proton therapy protects more healthy tissue than regular X-ray-based radiation methods, thus improving five-year survival rates among children. However, the technology is not widely used in China, and current proton therapy centers are geared toward adults. Chinese children with cancer have had to go abroad for proton therapy or receive chemotherapy or traditional radiotherapy domestically. What's more, there is a nationwide shortage of proton therapists, technicians, and pediatricians in the field. Proton therapy for children involves careful calculation of radiation doses for kids of different ages and sizes. We still need to work on that. Also, more work needs to be done on where the proton beams deposit their energy and controlling sedation. To make proton therapy more accessible, an agreement to create the nation's first children's proton therapy center was signed between Children's Hospital of Fudan University, Shanghai Fosun Health Care Group, and America's Melvian Medical Systems. All three parties will work together, and this includes not only children's proton therapy, but also professional training and popularization of science. The prevalence of cancer among children younger than 14 has risen 2.5 percent annually over the past 10 years. Doctors also say that some cancers like neuroblastoma in children are related to fetal development and that more research is needed on proton therapy in this area. Song Wenqing, Shanghai Live.